Hello friends, welcome back to Odoo Development Tutorial video. We were discussing about relational fields in the last two videos. Uh, we discussed the one-to-many field, many-to-one fields. So these things are just opposite. And the new, the next thing, next relational field that uh, many-to-many -many is what we are discussing in this video. So this many-to-many -many field is a bi-directional multiple relationship that means any record on one side that mean if you are uh, connecting when we uh, when we connecting uh, uh, creating many to many field we are connecting two different objects business objects so uh, if we take two business objects in each uh, in different sides one side any record from one side can be related to any record from other side so it's a uh, just like uh, uh, tags that we use for products or customers those kind of things so a tag can be used in multiple customers and for a customer we can assign multiple tags same as uh, that's a, a concept that we have uh, any records on one side can be uh, related to any number of records on other side and when you access this field in through your code uh, with the dot operator uh, it can be a empty records because it's a set of records okay so it can be empty record or you will get a uh, set of records now uh, let's uh, go to our code how we can define a many to many field so what we are doing is in our open academy object sorry open academy module we have two objects one is course and one is session so uh, a session for a session we need attendees right so uh, we are creating an attendees field this attendees we are putting as many to many i hope you uh, notice the format we have to give the attendee uh, the field name it's uh, given as attendee ids since it will have multiple records that's why we put ids then fields dot many to many then the object that we are connecting so the attendees are created as a stored partner uh, models object then uh, so we put here the restored partner then we uh, we give a string as a label for this attendee ids uh, field then uh, now this is uh, the the field declaration is over so this attendees the one uh, session can have multiple attendees at the same time this same person can attend multiple sessions so that's uh, our concept so we have defined attendee IDs on our uh, session object then uh, next thing that we have to do is in our open uh, view we need to add the field so that it will come in our user interface so we are doing some rearrangement group and putting all these things inside that group then we are giving label for attendee ids then field name attendee ids now that's over now let's let's update our module let's open academy sorry uh, go to apps and open academy upgrade Let's go to Open Academy or session 
functions you see there is a table so uh, this is uh, the attendees okay uh, now you may have confused I have a doubts why I put the label for here so if I comment this and update this you will show the difference you, will, you can see the difference here sorry sessions we don't have the name attendees that name is disappeared so that's why we put label for there so uh, this is uh, we can add, we can add multiple multiple attendees multiple objects from uh, multiple records from this uh, restored partner object to this uh, session object so same way we can add the same pupils to the next session also you see so this is uh, what we are saying we can uh, it's a multi uh, bi-directional multiple relationship so either uh, in both ways we can assign the same records to uh, multiple records uh, in different uh, the other side object so uh, this is one way of showing uh, many to many field and uh, if we check the customers uh, those kind of records the customers products you see the tags this is a this is also a many to many field you see the type many to many so uh, if if you want to show your uh, many to many field in this way we have to use a widget it's called many to many tags so i will show you that also here we have to put widget is equal to many to many underscore tags then go back to our apps update then open academy sessions you see administrator demo my company kind of the uh, the ui is changed so let's bring back our label for this field so i am uncommenting this part then an academy sorry attendees is here so this is uh, how, how we define a many to many field so there is a difference in when you check your open academy session in your database table you won't see a attendees ID column okay so we can have a look at the database and see how Odoo is managing this many to many and many to many relationship so for that I'm taking the terminal and uh, see Odoo 40 There's a lot of tables there. Let's check where is our open academy session. You see, open there is an open academy course. It's open academy course ID sequence, open academy session open academy session id sequence then open academy session res partner relation so this 
this one is something that we didn't create okay let's check what is inside in this tab What happened? Okay, let's try it now. So name of the table. this here you can see open academy session id plus two partner id so uh, only two columns are there so one is open academy session id either one is trust partner id here session ids are given one and then partner id three again one partner id seven again session id one partner id one then session id two same as three seven one so system is storing these relation data in a new table this table is uh, created by the system itself so this is happens behind uh, many to many field i hope uh, you understand the uh, structure and how we can define a many to many field and how we can give, uh, show that in our user interface and everything if you have any doubts regarding this portion you can uh, put your doubts your queries under this comment section uh, be uh, below this video and thanks for watching have a nice day Thank you.